Hello, and welcome to the virtual Green Living Festival, bringing you sustainable solutions, green stuff you can use from the Earthway Center at the Missouri Botanical Garden. Presented by Ameren, Missouri, we are very happy to come to you via the magic of electrons and bring you the opportunity to learn from our exhibitors. I'm Jean Ponzi, the Green Resources Manager for the Earthway Center, and today I'm talking to Lisa Cagle, she is the Outreach Director for Grow Solar STL, which is a solar incentive program on the Missouri side. We also have a companion program on the Metro East side of the Bi-State St. Louis region, but we'll hear about how Grow Solar is working here in St. Louis from Lisa Cagle. Lisa Cagle, Grow Solar STL, your time to shine. Thanks so much, Jean, I'm happy to be here. So I'm uh, representing the Missouri Botanical Gardens Earthway Center today um, and the Grow Solar St. Louis program. So Grow Solar St. Louis is a group by residential solar program for St. Louis City, St. Louis County, and St. Charles County homeowners and small commercial property owners. So we have a similar program going on in Metro East, as Jean uh, mentioned earlier, but this presentations and the, and the power hours that we do are specifically meant for residents of St. Louis City, County, and St. Charles County. So we have some promotional partners in Clayton, the city of St. Louis, Brentwood, Creepcore, Richmond Heights, and University City. But again, anybody in the city of St. Louis and St. Louis County and St. Charles are eligible for the program, which is launching its second year this spring in the St. Louis region. So Grow Solar St. Louis is brought to you by the Midwest Renewable Energy Association, Washington University in St. Louis, and the Missouri Botanical Garden. And you're going to tell us how it works. Yes. I'm going to tell you how it works. <laughs> so, okay, so a group buy program. It kind of, this is something that people ask us a lot about. What is a group buy? And so Grow Solar is a group buy program whereby working together, we create an economy of scale to help lower the price of a solar system for everyone who participates. So the higher the rate of participation, the higher the rebate for our group buy program. Uh, an important deadline uh, to remember is August 31st. Uh, that's when you have to sign up for a contract through this group by program to get the lower rates. But the way that it works is we organized solar power hours that are done virtually this summer to help educate the public and take some of the lead work off of uh, the solar installers, which saves them time and resources and helps lower the end cost to the customer. So the more people who attend our power hours and the more people who sign up, the more affordable, affordable solar will be for everyone. So tell all of your friends and family members and coworkers about this program. And we hope that by attending a power hour, um, virtually online, uh, whenever is convenient for you, we have lots of dates that you can check out at our website, www.growsolarstl.org. We hope by attending a power hour that you can get started on your solar journey, whether you're deciding to sign up for a system this year or you're just thinking about it for the future. So the sign up date, Lisa, is to get into the program. You don't have to have, then you have time to actually do the implementation, to actually put the solar panel, the solar power system on your home. That's correct. So you'll have to sign a contract with our, mm -hmm. uh, our uh, vendor, so Straight Up Solar, um, so part of the group buy program is that there's a competitive contractor selection to try to get the best price for everybody who's participating in the program. And this year, Straight Up Solar is our solar installer who won that competitive contractor selection process. So you have to sign a contract with them by August 31st, um, but the installation might happen this fall or even uh, into the winter. So it doesn't have to happen this summer necessarily. Mm -hmm. Um, you do get a free site assessment through Straight Up Solar, so anybody who attends one of our power hours virtually or otherwise, basically you can say, hey, I'm not sure if this will work for my site location. I'm not sure if there's too much shade or if my roof is big enough or whether, you know, I'm using too much power for solar to be really viable for me. So Straight Up Solar does a free site assessment, and that comes with no obligation for you to sign a contract or anything like that. It just walks you through the process of what you would do if you were interested in solar at your house or small business. So Lisa, I had the opportunity to attend a virtual power hour during the virtual Earth Day Festival. 
And that included a presentation, you know, longer, a little more detailed than the brief one we're doing here today for Grow Solar as an exhibitor in the Green Living Festival, but also took us to the home of an individual who had had solar panels installed in her house. So we actually got to see that. And I, I think someone was doing an evaluation using maybe Google Maps of looking at a person's property to right there in the interaction, be able to say, as you said, is this property suitable for solar? Are you looking at the looking at something that's gonna work? Absolutely, so there's sort of a Google product that allows us to get like a general overview and then there's some specialized software that Straight Up Solar has as well to make sure that there's a good solar window for your roof or wherever it is that you're, where you're thinking about installing panels. And they can do that sort of initial assessments right there in real time during the virtual power hour or you can sign up for a, a sort of a more in detail site assessment afterwards as well. Mm -hmm. Do you have another slide to show us? I do. So I just wanted to tell you about the success of this program last year. Oh, please. So we launched this program in the St. Louis region for the first time last year in 2019. And uh, it was pretty, pretty great results. We had uh, 71 homes in the St. Louis region to go solar saving an average of $724 per year per customer in utilities. And the program kept the environmental equivalent of over 407,000 pounds of coal emissions from entering our atmosphere. So great for uh, cleaner air for plants and all of us. And we hope to continue this trend in 2020. One of the cool things about 2020 is um, on both the Metro East side of the river and in St. Louis, we had straight up solar win the competitive bid for our contractor. So the, the rebates that we're doing, basically, um, if you sign up on the Illinois side of the river or the Missouri side of the river, you're contributing to that sort of group uh, discount, the rebates that you get at the end of the, of, of, the, of the program. So we're all sort of working together to maximize our, our economy of scale. So really, this is kind of a, the, the more you shop, the more you save. That really is true here, or the more people participate, the more everyone realizes the savings. That's a, a brilliant, kind of an incentive plan. Exactly. It's, it's pretty cool. And um, what we do through the power hours when you attend them is we walk through a lot of the materials that it might take somebody who's researching solar it might take them weeks to sort of get through. What are the incentive programs out there? What kinds of rebates do we get? What kinds of things might I have to consider when installing solar on my house? And we kind of give a brief overview of that all in one hour. So you get sort of the crash course of the things that you might have to consider. So not only are you getting this sort of great uh, discount of everybody, you know, who, for anybody who signs up and participates in the program and actually installs solar this year, but you're getting a wealth of information, even if you're just interested in the first place. So, Lisa Cagle, what are some of the things that people are asking you when they come to a Grow Solar Power Hour? Yeah, so there's lots of questions. Some of them are just basics about, well, how does solar power work? So we give, you know, sort of basic information about how the electrons from the sun hit your panel and how it gets converted into energy that your house can use. So some basic stuff like that. We have lots of questions about um, whether people want to be tied to the utility grid or not. A lot of folks are thinking about, hey, is there some sort of battery backup I can use in case the grid goes down at all? So we talk a little bit about some of those options. Um, we talk a lot about uh, whether people can put it on their house specifically is a lot, uh, the question that we get a lot, which is why that free site assessment is really useful. Not only the detailed one, but the one that you can get right there in person as well, and virtually as well. Mm -hmm. And I know that there are some additional incentives besides this group buy. There still is a federal tax incentive. I'm not sure whether there are any utility incentives on the Missouri side of our region. Can people take advantage of those as well? That's correct, yes. So we talk about both the Missouri incentives through Ameren and the federal tax incentives. They are a little bit different than on the, on the Illinois side. So um, depending on where you live, that's the kind of presentation that you might wanna watch. If you live on the Illinois side, then you wanna get the Metro East version of the presentation. If you live on the Missouri side, you wanna get the Gross Solar St. Louis version. So you know exactly what kinds of incentives you're dealing with. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, this is a, a very exciting program. It's great that solar is becoming more and more affordable. And what would you say are the top maybe two or three reasons that people want to go solar? That's a great question, Jean. So I think 
part of the, you know, the number one reason is just for environmental quality. So people care about the planet, they care about, uh, they care about um, air quality. And so thinking about the kinds of emissions you can save, particularly carbon emissions that you can save from entering the atmosphere from solar is a really strong motivator for lots of people. Um, through our, sort of our, our average size system in the area, it's basically like taking one and a half cars off the road every year. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a pretty big incentive for folks. Um, but also, you know, thinking about the local economy, hey, cr there's a ton of creation of, of solar jobs for folks that are, are jobs that can increase. We have about 1.6%, I think, of uh, the U.S.'s energy is from solar right now. So there's a, a, a big, a big a growth opportunity for, you know, having more solar jobs and more solar energy usage. And then pocketbook, you're, it saves money. Um, in the long run, you can start, you know, saving money on your utility bill up to $900 in the first year, but over a 25 year period, you might be saving $30,000 on your energy bill from this kind of uh, solar array that we're talking about through this program. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of good reasons. Well, and at the Missouri Botanical Garden, we really appreciate any, the, the measures that human beings take to make the environment safer and healthier for plants, which are producing all the oxygen we breathe and you know, producing all the food that all everybody in the animal kingdom eats, including the animals that are eaten by animals. And uh, we're very pleased to be a part, be a host and a sponsor of Grow Solar on the St. Louis side. Anything else you wanna add, Lisa Cagle? Check out a power hour. There's uh, no cost to just checking it out in the first place. And even if you get bored halfway through, it's virtual. Nobody will see you leave. <laughs> but I don't think you will. I think that it'll be pretty engaging. So check us out. And I'm, I believe that we have a power hour as part of the programming that we'll be offering during the Green Living Festival, three days of the festival. Let me just show you again what, what we are and who we are. Thank you, Lisa Cagle with Grow Solar STL for being an exhibitor at the Green Living Festival and talking to us today. Thanks so much, Jean. We're really excited about it. You can learn more about all of our exhibitors at mobot.org slash greenlivingfest and also get links to our live programming on June 6th, June 9th, and June 11th. And we will archive all of that material on the festival pages of the Missouri Botanical Gardens website. Thanks again to our presenting sponsor, Amarin, and to all of the staff and volunteers at Earthway Center and our exhibitors coming together to bring you sustainable solutions that you can use every day. That's what green living is all about. I'm Jean Ponzi. Thanks for the green things you do.